All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a transparent source engine spray. Resolution 256 by 256 is the largest supported that I know of. As you can see, I already have my chopped up layer here with the background already wiped out. Um, generally, when I make these, I have a white and a black background layer. Black is going to be used when we save it initially. We're going to have it visible because if you don't, it will leave a weird cloudy like outline around your transparent parts. So def keep the black. You don't have to have it now for this process, but you're definitely going to need it at the end. I use a white so that it's just a little bit easier to tell the effects that I'm doing. I'm just going to add a basic drop shadow here. Let's see, distance, pull it out a little bit. Hit OK. I'm actually going to move it out this way so my shadow isn't touching the edges. Alright, that's good there. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to set up the alpha channel, which actually controls the transparency. This part can be tricky. First thing you want to do is, whenever you're generating an alpha layer, if you have any of this little flash icon it's at, that's actually a blending option that shows that the layer has blending options on it when you go to control click on this as you will see it only outlines this part and not the shadow it's very important that it outlines every single aspect of that layer so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to create a new layer we're going to use the control key to select our image layer and a blank layer and then we're going to right click and merge layers. Now what it's going to do is it's going to remove that little flash icon. That's very important because now when I control click on this little icon down here it selects the shadow as well. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to pop over to the channels tab. We're going to hit the create new channel button and make sure your foreground color is white and hit alt backspace or you can go to edit fill select foreground color opacity 100% mode normal and now you'll see that obviously this is a gray color, the shadow is, and the 100% visible object is white. That's very important. If you don't have all of your shadows and everything and all your layers merged up and selected when you create this alpha channel, all of your other special effects, other shadows, glows, everything will not appear. So everything needs to look pretty proportional at this point. Go ahead and pop back over to your layers tab. Go ahead and unhide your white layer. Actually, go ahead and delete your white layer because we don't need it now. And then go ahead and right click, or not right click, control click, select both the layers and merge the layers. Now, I know you can't see your drop shadow here, but this is very important because if you have any other colors or anything in here, it can actually affect the way your image exports. So now we just have one layer, flat, black background. And in our channels tab, you can still see we have our alpha channel. So now we're going to go ahead and go to file, save as. Actually, good thing to do before this is undo all the things I just did before you flatten is go ahead and save the PSD because if you want to re-edit this or change anything and you close Photoshop you can't undo anything because obviously you close Photoshop so I'm gonna go ahead and pop over here program files steam wherever it is there it is steam apps and select your account name then go ahead and go into counter-strike source and I've created a new folder in here called sprays and then create a new folder for, you don't have to be this organized with it, but I am, just for now. So I'm just going to leave that as untitled.psd. Give you maximum compatibility, blah, 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 blah. That's not really important. Now go ahead and go to save as, oh, I'm sorry. Since I reverted all my changes, let's see if, ooh, that wasn't good. I don't want that. What did I just do? I just garbaged it up. Well, let me edit this part out. Okay, here we are back again. I'm not sure what I did. I think uh, it's because my video driver crashed earlier, so it messed my stuff up. But, okay, now we're back here. You have your PSD saved. Now we're ready to save it as a PNG. So make sure, once again, that you go ahead and delete your white layer. Merge these layers. Make sure your alpha's still there. Alpha's still there. Okay. Now, go ahead and go to File, Save As. Now we're still in our tutorial folder. Untitled them. Now I'll rename this. Let's see, actually, let's select TGA first. Make sure you have alpha channel selected. If you don't, you will have no transparency. You will just have a black background. Go ahead and I'm just going to name this Tut Door TG. You don't need to type dot TGA since you already have the format selected. Save it. Now, default, I think it selects 24 pixels, but we want 32 bits or pixels. Go ahead and select OK. Now you can go ahead and I'll leave minimize Photoshop for now. 
Go ahead and open up Counter-Strike Source. Once Counter-Strike's loaded, go ahead and go to Options, Import Spray. Here you can see here's the Sprays folder we created. And then select the TGA that you saved. As you can see, the background is faded gray, and you can see through to the background, and your shadow's there, and your image is full.